Hola mi gente hermosa de YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Faith and as seen by the title, today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video slash review of the Fjall Robin Konkin Tote Pack Mini. And she looks like this. So this is literally a tote and a book bag. And I'll also be doing a little kind of comparison to the Fjall Robin Konkin mini book bag. And yeah. So let's get into it. I figure you all would um, prefer a view of seeing the bag completely as I take whatever's in it out. All right, and as you see, it's pretty stuffed. I put a lot of stuff in my bags. I don't know why, but the bigger the bag, the more stuff I'll have in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the side pocket. So we'll start with this one. So of course, the times we're living in, I have a face mask. And this is just one I got from Hobby Lobby. And then let's go to the other pocket. So I'm gonna be honest, you all know the times we're living in. I'm gonna have a lot of hand sanitizer in here, okay? Hand sanitizer number one. This is from Bath and Body Works. It's um, a citrus, citrus and sunshine, and it's a hand spray versus, um, you know, the regular liquid kind. Next, I have a satin scrunchie. Nothing else in that pocket. I'm gonna go to this front pocket right here. These are my AirPods. Then I have my second hand sanitizer, and this is Black Cherry Merlot. And um, of course, it's from Bath and Body Works again. Then I have a Burt's Bee Strawberry um, Lip Balm. And lastly, I have my third hand sanitizer in here as well. It's also from Bath and Body Works, and this one is all is. Oh, sorry, I was gonna say also, also. But um, this one is Sunshine and Lemons. All right, so let's go ahead and get inside of the bag. And as you can see, it's pretty stuffed. As I said, I put a lot of stuff in here. All right, so first thing we have inside is just a small little water bottle. And I like to keep water in my purse because it's essential and you never know when you might become like thirsty or anything like that. Second thing I have is my wallet. It's kind of big, but yeah. Fits the regular things that we need, you know, regular, regular. This actually just fell out. So yeah, that's my wallet. Next, I have my shades. Now this is in the Shein case, but my glasses are not from Shein. They're actually from Fermu and they're prescribed. So they're these regular little shades. And yes, they're dirty, I'm sorry. But I like to use these whenever I'm driving because it becomes sunny and very hard to see, especially over the past few days. All right, so that's in the back. Next thing I have is my fourth hand sanitizer. And it's also from Bath and Body Works. This one is called Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And I have this little Bath and Body Works case on it. And I, I am very childish, I'm sorry. But it's a little princess or fairy princess. And it makes that noise. It also lights up. So I think it's good to have when it's dark. All right, next I have my totes umbrella. So this is a mini umbrella, I just keep it in my bag. I look like this, just a black one. And it comes with this little carrying case. Next I have this little pouch. It's 
actually from Ana, Ana Luisa, but it's not jewelry. I put an extra phone charger in here. So, and then a brick as well. All right, so now we have, I think this is the fifth hand sanitizer. This is just a regular little hand sanitizer I got from Target. Next, I have this little pouch. So in this pouch, I actually have some wooden utensils. So I have a spoon, a fork, a wooden straw, as well as some metal straws at the bottom, and then a straw cleaner. And I actually got this little pouch from Target, and it comes, it came with the utensils as well, and it was like five dollars. So next, I have this little black pouch. Now, this little black pouch I actually had from Forever Twenty One with the purse I purchased. Um, I believe when I was like 17, so like in 2016. And yeah, we can do what's in here. So first I have um, my lip gloss by um, Glam by Kim Re. Then I have my sixth <laughs> hand sanitizer. And this one is, if you can see it, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Then I have my if I have Morphe, um, I don't know what that is. Then I have my, let me see if you can see it, Morphe uh, portable charger. It has um, two of these. Then I have my mirror. This just says Daydream. I've had this since I was 14 years old and it's from Forever 21. I have this little roll on perfume oil from the beauty supply store and it's in the i really wish it focus it's called diamond princess and i have i have these now this is a very unique invention these are actually like paper towel slash tissue so they come in a size like this and you add a little bit of paper i mean sorry you add a little bit of water and then they turn into a um full size like wipe and i just think it's super oh I should we focus i just think it's super handy to have these you never you literally never know when you might need them okay next i have this little humble um mini deodorant Then I have a, sorry, a tie, a tie to go stick. Then I have a Bath and Body, um, Bath and Body Works, P Perfect Peony uh, perfume, and it's in a little spray bottle like this. Then I have another Burt's Bees um, lip balm, but I haven't opened it. And honestly, I have to keep all my chapstick with me or hidden because my youngest sister, who is three years old, if she sees chapstick, she's going to open it and just put it on her lips over and over and over again until it's no more, like literally. Okay, and then I have these small um, travel size bottle of Tylenol. I have a lot of perfume in here too, I'm sorry y'all. Okay, also I have this perfume by Kate Spade. It's called Walk On Air. And this is like the mini travel size version. I wish you all could see the words, you can't. But yeah, it just looks like this. I have a dongle by Apple. If you have a phone jack that has this one, not a phone jack, but you know the earphone jack. And it just connects to this since our phone, you know, no longer has the regular earphone jack. Um, then I have some Gold Bond Healing Lotion in Aloe, and it's just a small version. I have a mini sample of a Burberry perfume called Her that my friend Keisha actually bought the big version she let she let me have the um, sample 
Then all I have left are allergy medicine, bobby pins, and a scrunchie. Or hair tie, whatever. Okay, so in this, well, I think we have something else. Okay, I also have some tissue, which should be in that little pouch over there, but just some regular tissues. Then in this little pocket right here, I have my five key ring holder for, I mean from Coach. And yeah, it just has my car key, my house key, my PO box key and stuff. Then it has this stuff at the bottom. This is a pepper spray that I recommend every woman, every person should have in case they feel like they're in danger. Um, and then we have some chains, or key chains I mean. All right, also in this pocket, we have my glasses cleaner, just a microfiber um, cloth. And then we have some more tissue, some Kleenex this time. And lastly, in this pocket, we have some more masks, but these are the disposable ones. And then in this back pocket, we have, this is a journal I just use to jot down random things or notes. Um, more specifically, I write down whatever I spend my money on if I don't have my planner, my budget planner with me. So yeah, or anything that I need to notate if I don't have my planner with me, I use this. Okay, so next thing we have in this back pocket is some flushable wipes from Equate, um, the Walmart brand. Then I have this other mask. It's not really Chanel. I got it from a nail salon, so yeah, but it has Chanel all over it, and I just thought it was cool, so. And the last thing I have in this bag is my Fjall Robin Konkin, um pencil case and this just has you know like a pencil some mid liners my pens and you know basic little things that I need in order to write in the notebook so um, the brand for y'all Robin Conk can actually have um, this in a regular I believe a classic size I'm not sure but this is the mini size so this is around the same size as the mini book bag and the reason why it's called a tote pack is because it actually converts into a book bag. So it has these on the back, these straps on the back, and you can actually convert it into a mini book bag. So let me show you how you do that. And then you pull this, and pull this down, and then now it's two shoulder straps like a put back. Now the only thing I don't know is where this one is supposed to go because it's just here. I mean I guess you can put it on the inside but you can't zip up the bag. But yeah, so this one actually converts into a boot bag which is really cool especially if you're a person who likes totes and book bags and then you want it in the mini size, I just think that's very functional and I like the diversity that it has. Okay, so here I have a mini Konkin. So in terms of size, they are about the same size and clearly they both are backpacks or at least the tote can be a backpack. Um, they both have the same side pockets as well as the zipper in the front, um, pouch in the front. And yeah, of course, the only thing that's truly different is what's in the back, which is the fact that this could only be a backpack and that one can be a tote or a backpack. So when it comes to choosing which one, I honestly would go for the tote, but I'm a tote person, so 
I like the fact that I can change it into a book bag if I would like. Like say for instance, it's too heavy on my shoulder. I can literally just change it into a book bag. All right, and so my overall opinion on the Konkin tote pack is that I'd say it's more geared towards people who like totes, but also like book bags and who likes the best of both worlds. So I honestly go for this bag over my book bag, my mini. Um, well, more specifically for this month, um, I haven't gone towards this one, but only because of the color and it is fall. I mean, this one is kind of a neutral color, so I think this goes, you know, with anything and everything all year round. Doesn't really matter the color. I just like to wear this one because it's fall and I feel festive. As you even see, I have like a little pumpkin on it. But yeah, so this book. Uh, this tote pack can be picked up I believe at Urban Outfitters this is where I got mine from but of course on the website and I believe the website actually sells the larger size um, I believe it's a classic size it may be a little smaller than a classic book bag but yeah so this one is the mini this one is the smaller one and yeah I got this from Urban Outfitters all right, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, don't be afraid to like, comment, or subscribe um, if you want to see more videos like this. And of course, if you have any video suggestion or anything you want to see from me, then you can leave a comment down below and I will be sure to read it. And yeah, I love you all. Bye.